In section 5.3, we're going to go over a new set of identities. They're called sum and difference identities. Uh, they're going to allow us to mainly find the exact values of uh, sine, cosine, tangent of angles possibly that are not on our unit circle already built from the 30, 60, and 45, 45, 90 right triangles. We'll also use them to uh, expand on the types of identities that we are able to verify. Well first let's write out our sum and difference identities and then this is probably a slide or a section of notes that you're going to want to keep in front of you for the entire uh, remainder of the video so that you can kind of reference these uh, identities as we use them. The first one we'll build for sine. Sine of u plus or minus v. The u and v can be any variables you want them to be. They can be any numbers that you want them to be. Sine of u plus v is equivalent to sine of u times cosine of v plus or minus cosine u times sine v. I go ahead and use the plus and minus sign so that I don't have to write the whole same thing out twice. Um, simply if it's plus here, you use plus in the middle. If it's minus, you use minus here. Okay. Next one we have is for cosine. Cosine of u plus or minus v is equivalent to cosine u times cosine v minus plus sine u times sine v. So with cosine, uh, each of the terms are both cosines, both sines, and then notice the sines in the middle are different. If we are adding here on the left, we actually subtract. And if we are subtracting here on the left, we're actually going to expand with addition. Final one is for tangent. It is tangent of u plus or minus tangent of v divided by 1 minus plus tangent of u times tangent of v. So notice again the plus minus signs. The, the sign on top here, the plus, we expand with plus on top, minus on bottom. And if it is minus, we expand with minus on top, plus on bottom. We don't have identities for cosecant, secant, and cotangent because they're just simply the reciprocals of whatever this would work out to be. In this first example, we're asked to find the exact value of the sine of 75 degrees. So we don't want to just go to the calculator and, and type sine 75, enter, and get a decimal. Uh, in order to find the exact value of this, uh, we're going to use these new sum and difference formulas. What I need to begin by doing is coming up with a way to either add two numbers, two angles, or subtract two angles to give 75 degrees. And I want to pick two angles that are on the unit circle. So I'm going to choose 45 plus 30. And I'm going to use the sum and difference identity to rewrite this. Um, the 45 is the u, 30 is the v in the formula, so this will expand to look like sine 45 cosine 30 plus cosine 45 sine 30. Now each of these four trig function values has an exact value which we're going to look at from the unit circle. Sine of 45 square root of 2 over 2 cosine of 30 square root of 3 over 2 plus cosine 45 square root of 2 over 2 sine 30 is 1 half. I can then multiply these together giving square root of 6 over 4 multiply together giving square root of 2 over 4 and since we're now adding fractions together they have a common denominator we can put them together square root of 6 plus square root of 2 all over 4. There's our exact value of the sine of 75 degrees. 
Next, let's look at the cosine of 75 degrees. Very similar example. Uh, we'll begin by writing the 75 degrees as a sum or difference. I'm going to go ahead and stick with 45 and 30 since they add to 75. This time we'll use the cosine sum and difference identity. It says take the cosine of 45 and the cosine of 30 minus, here on the cosine one, remember you flip the sine, and then we want sine of each of these angles. Sine 45, sine 30. Now each of these, again, are values that can directly be found from our unit circle. Square root, or cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Sine 30 is 1 half. And just like in the last problem, we're going to multiply each pair of fractions together square root of 6 over 4 minus square root of 2 over 4 and then we're going to add these or in this case subtract them together square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4 that's our exact value for cosine of 75 degrees next example asks for the sine of 7 pi over 12 uh, I need to do the same thing come up with two angles that either add or subtract to 7 pi over 12. That's harder to do when the angle is given in radians because radians involve fractional values and to add or subtract fractions they need common denominators and it's just kind of a mess. Uh, it's just a challenge to do. So what I like to do instead when I'm given a radian angle is convert it to a degree angle. 7 pi over 12, if I multiply this by 180 over pi, so I have 7 times 180 divided by 12, this comes out to be 105 degrees. Also, it's going to be easier for me to come up with two numbers that add or subtract to 105 than it is going to be to me to think of two numbers that add or subtract to 7 pi over 12. So using 105 I could do 60 plus 45 and since that's the same as that this is going to work out just fine. Expanding this using the sine formula will be sine of 60 cosine of 45 plus cosine 60 sine 45. I'm going to look all these up now um, off the unit circle sine of 60 degrees square root of 3 over 2 cosine 45 square root of 2 over 2 cosine 60 is 1 half sine 45 square root of 2 over 2 Multiply together, we get square root of 6 over 4 plus square root of 2 over 4. Combine to one fraction, square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. Okay, how about a uh, tangent example? Begin it the same way. I want to come up with two numbers that either add or subtract to 11 pi over 12 and just like the last one I don't like this radian value so I'm going to take it times 180 over pi to convert it into degree form if I do that I get a degree angle of 165 degrees okay so I need to come up with two values that either add or subtract to that one that are on my unit circle. And that's the important thing. They have to be on the circle. So let's see, could we use we could use 30. No, that wouldn't work. We could use one hundred and twenty degrees plus 
45 degrees. That will work. Okay, so expanding this, this time you're going to use the tangent formula, where the 120 is the U, the 45 is the V. That formula says we want tangent of 120 plus tangent of 45 divided by 1 minus tangent 120 times tangent 45. Okay, tangent of 120 degrees. Let's, uh, let's think through 120 degrees together, shall we? Um, 120 degrees is this point that's 30 degrees past the y-axis. It's the point negative, um, negative 1 half square root of 3 over 2. So the tangent would be the y divided by x. That's going to be just simply negative square root of 3. Plus tangent of 45 is 1 over 1 minus we want negative square root of 3 times 1. This becomes negative square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 plus square root of 3. I am okay in instances where we're using this tangent formula to leave radicals in the denominator of the fraction. So if you want to do that, I'm alright with leaving it just like that. Alright, the next couple examples. The directions ask us to rewrite as a trig function of a single angle. Um, this is a, an example of using the sum and difference formulas in reverse. Okay, so kind of recognizing which one is at play here. I see cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Uh, the expansion formula where the functions are the same in each term is the cosine one. So doing it in reverse. And also notice that the cosine one, recall, uses the opposite sign of what's in the middle here. So we're going to be subtracting. So we want cosine of 94 minus 18. 94 minus 18 is 76. So this is cosine of 76 degrees. It doesn't ask me to evaluate this. It just asks me to write it as the trig function of a single angle. We have that. Okay, this second example, it's, uh, it's no secret which one this one is. There's only one that even remotely looks like this with all the tangents in play. So it's a tangent expansion. Um, plus on top, minus on bottom. The sign on top is the one that we use to connect the angles in the tangent expansion. So we want 19 plus 47. So this is tangent of, we're going to add 19 and 47 together. 66 degrees.